Hey everybody, it's Pastor Hugo. Welcome to another Chosen Devotion. Today we have two different readings that we're looking at all week long. One is from Matthew 3. It's a very simple, practical, historical, factual account of the baptism of Jesus. It's just a few verses. You can take that, ponder it, reflect on it, and then spend some time in Romans 6. Romans 6 is, a, is Paul, probably Paul being his most theological, and he's giving this theological summary of baptism in Romans 6. And anytime Paul's being theological, it gets difficult. It, it, it he has a lot of stuff crammed in there, and you sort of have to take your time with it. But So don't be intimidated by it. Just take it little chunks at a time and pay particular attention to the imagery Paul associates with baptism. He talks about dying with Christ, being buried with Christ, being raised with Christ, and the newness, the transformation that is ours because, in, because of the fact that in baptism we die with Christ and we're raised with Christ. You know, pay attention to that imagery. Read it, spread it out over some long period of time and read it quite a bit. Let me give you something to think about as you read it. Uh, another image here. Um, when I was in Ohio, there was a pastor in Ohio. His name was Pastor Mike Slaughter. He was a Methodist pastor. And he started out many years ago as a, in a small rural Methodist church in Gingham, Ginghamsburg, Ohio. Uh, the church had fewer than 100 members, fewer than 100 in, in attendance on an average Sunday. But Mike was a dynamic pastor, and he was... Uh, just he was just a, a great leader um, and the church grew over time from just under 100 in worship to 3,000 in worship but Mike was also very outspoken and very opinionated and he kind of had a history of you know growing the church and then doing something that would cause people to leave in big numbers like 500 at a time and then he'd regrow the church and then he'd do something else that would cause people to leave in big numbers but there's a story about him. Actually, it's a, it's a whole series of stories that all have one thing in common. When people would come up to Mike, to Pastor Slaughter, and to tell him they didn't like something that he said or that he did or that the church was doing, he would say, have you been baptized? And if the answer was yes, he would say, then it doesn't matter what you like. You died, you're, you died, you're dead. You died with Christ and, and you were raised in Christ. So what, what you like doesn't matter. What matters is what Christ like. And that's kind of a, a, a kind of a non or undiplomatic position for a pastor to take. But the truth is there for us to ponder. We've been baptized into Christ. In Paul's words, we've died with Christ. We've been buried with Christ. And now Christ lives in us. We live in Christ. And so what matters to us as baptized children is not what we like or what we want. But what matters is what Jesus likes and what Jesus wants. Ponder that one as you go into your week and have a great week. We'll see you next week. Bye-bye.